13-year-old Alex Stepanek from Prague, Czech Republic, a special guest of the Green Gales for this game. Alex has been following the team and attends the Alex Obreski tournament in his hometown each year. Had a chance to take in a Green Gales game while visiting Toronto on a hockey tournament. Dr. Ross Tilly Public School Choir performing O Canada. Oakville on a power play, moving the ball well. Steve Walsh comes up with the initial stop, but Robert Proner is first to the ball. He has an open side to shoot for, making it 2-1 for the buzz. Less than a minute later, Devin Pfeiffer picks out Brady Kiernan at the side of the goal. He converts to tie this game at a pair each. Hayden Kuhlman's going to go on a run here for Oakville. Zips a quick shot past Walsh to restore the lead for Oakville, but that'll be the last bit of good news for them for a while as the Green Gales dominate the rest of the first period. Starts with Braden McGregor who collects the rebound off the Will Carnduff shot. Makes a bit of history with his first Junior B goal and the goal's coming in waves now for the Green Gales. Next up, Zach Bryant. He'll be denied by Vinny Tucci, but Blake Lothian, he is there and he is not denied. With the Green Gales on a roll at the moment, they don't need much help, but they're going to get it here as Luke Pilcher gifts Bryant in front of the goal. That's going to make it 6-3. to three. The scoring in the first is rounded out by Joey Bryant, who puts a shot off the arm of Tucci and in. And that was Vinny T's last action of the night as he was then replaced by Matt Hadowney for the rest of this game. Into the second period now, Johnny Clare is going to set up Pfeiffer. He circles the net and scores to make it 9 to 3. Oakville kept off the score sheet for about 26 minutes before Nate Branoff beauty behind the back pass to Matt Anderson and he will put this in to cut the lead in half to 10-5. With the comeback attempt put on hold, Jeremy McWater sets up Kyle Curtis. That's his second of the night. And then on the PK, Pfeiffer goes behind the back to Spring McGregor. He pots his second of the night. He would finish with three. Josh Morton pretty determined to get a shot at Joey Bryant here and manages to do so while being held by the official. I don't think Bryant saw that one coming. But he and the Green Gales, they'll take it and the game 14-7 to post their third win in a row after that opening night loss. And they feel things are starting to come together. Two weeks later and I noticed a huge difference. The intensity of the game, uh, much faster pace. Uh, really good team effort tonight. Uh, the home opener was... A little bit of a slow start, but we, I feel like we've got our feet under us now, and uh, we're getting going. I just think we're, uh, we're making less mistakes out there, and um, I don't know, we're playing more as a team. We were a lot more flat-footed the first game that I played, and uh, it feels as though we're just making a lot less mistakes out there, and it's just leading to more chances for us and less for the other team.